What's uh, the yeah. militarization look like? Is there guards outside? Does it have a wall around it? No, there's no wall around it. It's, again, like one of those towns that's built on the edge. Like there's a little bit of, bit of flat land where they built this town. But most of the area around it is very lar uh, large hills or cliffs. Um, it's pretty well protected from land. It, to assault the city from land, you'd have to like walk down this that crazy path that would be ridiculously hard to get down. Like It's steep, and they have, could have bows down there. From land, it's fairly well protected. From sea, there's a couple of uh, piers with some ships out there. So not very heavy in protection-wise, but you do notice that there are many ships out there. You do see... Um, a few guards walking around. They don't seem to be wearing Verasi, uh logoed equipment, but you know they seem to be keeping the order, they're keeping the peace. They they're walking fairly casually. They seem not to be too interested in things that are happening. And you know, you know, one of them will like stop to like attend, help some kid who like skinned his knee. They seem to be pretty happy people. Hmm. Okay. Well, like before we go much like further, should we down. take a break? Uh, we're taking a break in thirty minutes. Oh, doing the, the okay half hour, half hour, yeah, or one hour okay. and a half, one hour and a half, because we're going three. Hmm. You guys want to look at the selling those gems and uh, investigate the town? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've noticed there's some boats also over there. Maybe we should consider. I don't know. I'm not sure if we'd be good on water, but I do remember what this Pegasus man said. Goes, well, how about this? How about you and? Uh, and I, I point, I say, you and Victorian, go look into the boat, and me and my friend Largo will go look into these gyms, get them sold, we'll bring you the guys the money. Oh, no, I'm not interested. The other person, the non-Pegasus guy, told us there's really, really nasty monsters in the water, and we're not salespeople, so I, if you want to do a job, you go ahead. But I would vote strongly not to do that. Okay, I we're mean, gonna go sell. We did place. encounter basilisk, so it's not much better, but sure. You're right. There are scary it's... things out there. It's just that we were, we're not sail people, and we do walk. Yeah. We have legs, so. Yeah, um, I guess what I can do, uh, I'll, I'll go on my own. I'm, I'm wanting to do more poultices. I'm starting to run low on these, and also I've been considering teaching Carla how, how to bandage. I feel like it could be useful. Very nice. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah, so I guess I'll spend some time with her. I'll tell her how to make poultice and bandage people. Do I you guys Carla give us your gems? She, I asked Carla if she's interested. To learn how to make poultices? And bandage people. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love to learn what you know about these things. Okay, so I'll I go mean, around yeah. with... Oh, yeah, go. to let you know, like, this is... You're gonna. You're trying to teach her like healing and herbalism proficiencies. This will take a while because it's not just like yeah. this is how you put a band on. Oh, I know. Like, well, you I gotta know. teach like anatomy. Like, oh, in this spot you have blah blah blah. So yeah, yeah. this so, will be a long process. For today, I'll spend the day talking to her about it, as I will ask to make poultices with the same technique as before, like um, in the inn, asking if I can use like their stuff. I have my pots, mm -hmm. but I ask them for like spots, and then I offer them some poultices in exchange. Uh, they want some cash in addition to poultices. Sure. They want two gold um, in addition to one of the ones that you can make. Sure. Okay. And again, Jack the process does... is what? Three days, did we say? Oh. Mm, really? Yeah. No, it was, a, it was either one or two days. I thought day it was process. a full day for just poultices. One or two days? Maybe two days. I remember, I remember it either being two or three days. I don't remember which off the top of my head. And there's no rules in the book since this is a made-up item. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, but I did, sorry. Um, you know, let's say it takes D2 plus one days to make. Two days. Okay, cool. Uh, but write down on your character sheet that it takes D2 plus one days. It's the good kind of one. Okay. That is. <clears throat> Okay, noted. Okay, so I'm going to start making some, and I'll teach Carla yeah, uh, the same. Also, well, before you do that, give me an herbalism check to see if you can find the right um, herbs and shit. Because you've been, you know, this is not a lot of biodiversity in this area. Oh, okay. 16? No, you totally can't find the right herbs. Um, well, I still teach her how to make the... Well, then I don't yeah. pay two gold. Yeah, then you don't pay the two gold, yeah. 
if you were in a forest or some other place like that, it would be much easier to find this stuff. But out here in the okay. open plains, it's so I'll just spend the day teaching her how to bandage. Okay. So you two spend the day basically like tucked away inside of an inn room, uh, hanging out. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the I, party. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say I pay particular attention to the baby's behavior and general happiness just because I want to check on him. The baby Her. seems kind of silly and goofy, like babies do. Um, <laughs> Does the baby respond to us at all? Like, does it seem to recognize us and like us? It acts like a normal baby. Okay. I ask our life, I can play with the baby. <laughs> of course! Okay, so I make like... Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I don't have anything else for babies. Me, okay. and, uh, me and Largo go to sell these gems. Or at least sell our two gems. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, um, I ask. I would ask Victorian and and um, Jockery if they would want us to bring. Sure, them. yeah, take mine as well. Yeah, please. yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay, so okay. we collect theirs and and head off to the. As uh, we're walking, I look at Smee and I'm like, "Are you thinking what I'm thinking?" I'm thinking of getting <laughs> a shit ton more than these are worth. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, yeah. Wait, that's... you're thinking of stealing? No, 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 no. I'm not thinking of stealing. All right. Well, if you I were, like your idea. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Look, you should try to steal something. I'll distract them. <laughs> okay. You You know what? I, I have no idea what these things are worth. I know nothing about gems, but I'm going to follow your lead. And if I can get anything, I will. Okay. Do you have, perhaps, an eyeglass? An, what do you mean? Like a monocle? You know, yeah, like a monocle. Do you have one? Um, I don't think so, no. Do, you see, do we see anyone walking around with a uh, monocle, Neil? No. Damn it. All right, all right. I'll make this work. Let's go. Let's go. We walk. I walk in all super proudly, and I say uh, follow suit as usual. Yep, I'm with him. Where do we walk into, by the way? That's a good question. This is a small town. They don't have a dedicated jeweler, um, but there is a, uh, a small trading post, like a, a small market area out by the docks where people come to trade. Okay. Um, and so there's a bunch of freestanding stands. Okay. Little like uh, merchant shops and stuff, and people are trading all sorts of things. That, you know, some very like, it's a bazaar, a small bazaar. Okay, so we walk into the bazaar, and uh, I go to uh, the first merchant I see. Okay, uh, he is hawking his wares. Um, hold on, I gotta I gotta find a better name. What does he sell, by the way? He yeah, is a a kind of a round bellied. Jovial old man with a sailor's cap on, wearing striped pants and a like, horizontally striped pants and a pinstripe shirt, with a big sash around his waist, and he is selling uh, silks and salted fish from far away. Okay, I walk up to him and I'm like, "Good day, sir." Fabulous morning, is it not? It Are you is, here to buy some of my famed salted fish? And the sea smells much like this fish, which does smell amazing. Say, how about we talk a trade? Trade is my business. What can I do for you? This here is the... Do you like an anchovy? No, 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 sir. I much Something much greater. This, and I, I, I sh like put my hand out to point, or at least uh, beckon forth uh, Largo... I say, this is Elias Umver, the most magnificent gnome you shall ever meet. You can a call me Eli if you'd like. A member of the royal family, perhaps, if you oh, know of it. Oh, my sir. He like, does a deep bow and kind of does like a fancy hand-waving thing. No need, no need to bow. I'm, I don't like to draw too much attention. Please bow. He is very of humble. Course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my lord. That is correct. He is your lord. Now, Elias has something. Or sorry. I'm sorry, my lord. Mr. Umver has something very magnificent he wants to sell you. I would be very, very much pleased to see what you have he to goes, sell. Clearly, you'll be the entire talk of this entire bazaar. <laughs> now, I'm going to pull these out. I'm, I, I have four of these, but I'm only going to pull out one, and I want to be very discreet about it. I don't want to, as I said, I don't like to draw too much attention. I pull out very carefully and treat the, the black gem as if it's very valuable, and, and I slowly set it on his table. He picks it up and looks it over and sets it back down and says, um, what is it? 
It is one of the rarest gems in all the land. And it could be yours <laughs> for the price of 300 gold. Well. I think that's probably far too rare of an item for me to have. I, 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 I don't even know what this is. I, I couldn't sell, possibly sell this elsewhere. He looks at, uh, Smee kind of like sits there and he looks over at, at uh, Largo and he, he blinks a couple times. And he looks back and he goes, are you trying to insult my lord? <laughs> I feel a little insulted. I'm uh, sorry. I, I just, I do not have the resources or skill to be able to sell this to someone else or turn a profit on it. I, if this, know, this is, is as rare a gem as you say it is, I... I should rec I would recommend that you take it to Vinderfell. You can find a, you, I'm sure you could find a merchant there who would be able to take this gem off your hand. But it is too valuable for me. I, I do not carry that level of commodity. I snatch the gem up as quick as as possible from his hands. I say, Lord Umver, do not speak to this peasant no more. Let us walk away. And I walk away very proudly. <laughs> I, I say, tut tut. <laughs> <laughs> and we walk off. <laughs> And I say, shit, I don't think we're going to get the money's worth here. We should, we should wait till another, perhaps a more prosperous city comes about. I like it. Okay. We'll try but this I trick like, again. I like where your head's at. By the way, what was the, um, oh, the to make me look like a lord, I see. Yes. Only lords wear monocles. I've seen them. <clears throat> All right. Let's, let's head back. Let's return to the party. Uh, and, and, yeah, we'll tell them it did not go well. <laughs> okay, you return to the party and dispense the information. Yep. And I, I inform the party that we're going to try to sell them in another town. And that I, I also say, you know, Victorian, if you were to serve as a bodyguard for Lord Largo here, it would look much better for us and perhaps fetch a better price. Uh, yeah, if you find a, another mark, perhaps. But it didn't seem like convincing him that you guys were royalty was the issue, is that he didn't have enough money. That's true. That's true. Well, we'll, uh, we'll try this trick another, in another city and see how it goes. Am I there when they say that? I don't know. Or am you? I with Carla? You're with Carla, playing with the baby all day. Okay, yeah. I'm using the baby to like show where to put the bandages and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I ask, uh, I say, well, Victorian Largo, what, uh, what else do we need to do within the city before we, we leave? We need to find out what we're dealing with. Uh, we ran into that orc pack, or not orc, excuse me. Uh, well, no, they were orcs on, uh, what were their mounts called again? Wargs. Wargs. I need to buy a horse, for Pete's sakes. Um, and if we're not going to offload the gems here, then I suppose we should just rest up until uh, Shmi's in full writing form and find out uh, where we're going to go. We still don't really have a plan. Well, the merchant said something about Vinderfell being one of the larger towns here. I have no idea where that ad is, and I've never heard of it myself. So perhaps we could find more information on that as well. That sounds good. So how about I go buy a horse? Uh, Shmi, Largo, if you guys want to look into where we should go from here. Joffrey, I guess you're working on poultices and teaching Carla to bandage. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Does that sound like a plan for now? Sounds Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Absolutely. Just know that I love each and every one of you, and then turn around on my heel and walk away. <laughs> uh, we can we can do the uh, horse buying if you're going to RP that. Yeah. Um, this is a small place. There. By golly, they do have horses. There are very few though, because it's such a small town, and they you know don't have a lot of use for horse travel. There are two horses left. Or for uh, sale. Okay, so as I approach the guy that's or girl that's selling them, do I see the horses? You do. They are in a small paddock. Do I notice that one is way more epic than the other? Do you have a horse riding proficiency or an animal handling or training proficiency or uh, anything related to animals? Let me see. I've killed a lot of animals. That's true. Uh, proficiencies. Where is that? Second right page. There. Middle column top. No, but right. I do have a good direction sense, so I think... It would steer me in the right choice. You know what I mean? Well, you'll find the a steer, right all right. Purchase. Yeah. Okay, so there are two horses. Um, she lets you know that they are a 
uh, a pair madly in love, and she couldn't bear to sell one without selling the other. Mm -hmm. This is super convenient to me, because it just so happens I believe in love. I believe in a thing called love. <laughs> uh, how much for the two of them? Hundred and forty gold. Normally, absolutely not. Normally, uh, a, a riding horse goes for seventy-five on its own, which would be one hundred and fifty. But as a mated pair, giving giving you selling two, I will give you a discount of ten gold. Did we buy horses for like twenty-five gold earlier? Like, no, there's seventy-five. Cheap. A pony is like thirty-five, but like, a, a riding horse uh, is seventy-five. We bought like thirty fucking horses so far. In this game. <laughs> Did we pay a hundred gold for these things? We paid pay seventy-five. For each person except for Largo. Yeah. How much gold is a platinum? Is ten? Yeah. Uh no, we we don't need two horses, right? It's just uh two if one dies again. <laughs> I don't um, think I have a horse. I think I've been oh I've been riding with Largo, that's right. Yeah. That's fine. God horses are expensive. That's you know what? I'll give it some time. If you uh, find it in yourself to part with just one of them, though, you could whisper in the ear of that horse that it will be in. It'll it'll do good. I, I if I could, I would. I would love. I could really use the money, but I could not bear to separate such two creatures who are so so strongly in love with one another. It would, it would be a shame. <laughs> It'd be a cruelty to a rule. It'd be a cruelty, right? Because the yes, um, the rules the goddess of love, of course, and and gods and goddesses know a horse's love. If you look into those just <laughs> deep black eyes with all that sentience, there you can see the compassion. You know what I mean? Well, if you watch them play, you you quickly notice your horses you play together. I told you they're madly in love. They cannot bear to be separated from each other. If I take one out riding, the other will bang against the fence until it can come to. I, I have to take them both out at the same time. Interesting. Um, Victorian momentarily considers killing one of the horses to sever the tie, but <laughs> side would be too messy. Uh, okay, thank you for your time. I'll just not buy these horses, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys want to do? While he's away, by the way, I want to go out to the bazaar by myself and look for a way to repair my lockpick tools. Um, generally, people don't openly sell lockpicks. It's kind of a, a sketchy thing, you know? Oh, I see. Yeah. You, in a small town like, so, uh, yeah, in a small town like I, this, you're... I, I got you. I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll hold off. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking up. I got a pony last time, but I have no idea what I rolled for it, so that's what I'm looking up real quick. Oh, because you lost your character sheet? Yeah. Uh, fuck. I guess I'll just wait, because I have no idea where that's at. And I just yeah, loaded... Just re-roll it. I loaded the entire... The entirety of roleplay... D&D and roleplay solemn chat log, and that was just not a good idea. Um, I'll just roll again, I guess. What? Oh, two, three, seven. Um, 16. Me and Ryan were, or sorry, me and Largo were going to go uh, look for information and stuff. So that's what we set off to do. Okay. We go to uh, the, wh wherever the, the captain of the, the local guard is. Okay, the local guard, uh, as you find out within you know, asking about it pretty quickly, is a total of five people. Um, and everyone seems to know them and love them. You know, they grew up in this town. They've been here their whole life. You find the captain, whose name is Simon. Okay. Uh, and he, he's currently off duty. He's a, This is his one day a week off, and he's uh, dipping his feet off the pier into the water. Okay. Okay. Uh... We approach uh, with a good amount of distance between us, and I go, Lord Simon? Oh, I'm, I'm not a lord, uh, young young master. I'm but a captain. What, what can I do for you? Uh, I was told it is your day off, but I, I have some questions, and I would, I would rather ask you than perhaps any other of your men who might be busy guarding this fine town. Oh. 
Of course. What can I help you with? Uh, my friend here uh, and I have been on an adventure for our entire lives, and we, we're looking for information ab around uh, this town and perhaps any other towns around us. Perhaps if you have a map, that might just do us quite fine. But we're also just looking for uh, some information regarding a local group of orcs, say about 20. Have you, uh, have you heard anything about that? I can't say that I have. We haven't had any problem with, problems with orcs since Verossi first came through these parts. Now they just come with a ship every every few months and collect taxes and poke around, make sure that nothing's uh, there's no mischief. When was the uh, the last time they were here, by chance? Three weeks ago, they came through, uh, searching for women with child and other such aspects. Uh, of course, none of our people here are with child since that is forbidden currently of course of course um so you would say that they're probably due to be here in a week or so correct no i i would not expect them back for another month or so okay okay well what about uh, what about the the surrounding towns here i was told by a merchant in this town that this is uh one of the smaller not to of course offend you in any way no, we're we're a small community, a happy community. Um, there are plenty of others nearby, but they're all but impossible to get to by land. You, we usually take ships. Uh, I I turn to to Largo and I'm like, get a get a. Do you have a writing utensil? And perhaps some some paper. Um, actually, I I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. Is that not just something we would have, Neil, or do we have to necessarily have that? You would necessarily have to have that because most people can't read or write, and paper is actually really expensive to buy. Okay. Um, I, I, I kind of just shake my head and go to, uh, to Simon. I say, Simon, I know this might be an odd thing, or perhaps it's not, but do you happen to have a map of the surrounding area? One could, uh, one could even charge us for it if, if you're not willing to part. Uh, there are... I do not have any maps of my own, but I think if you ask one of these ship captains, they may be willing to sell you an extra map. Usually they carry more than one, you know. Do you have any idea what they might charge for something like that? Depends on the captain. Depends on how will much you can negotiate. Do you have uh, any... I would uh... say don't pay more than 10 gold for a, a map of the local fjords, but okay. if you want something larger, it may be a little bit more expensive. Do you happen to know if there are any gnome captains within the... The harbor today or on any day i've never seen a gnome captain of a ship before i kind of just don't say anything after he says that and like well but you must be from out of town who what brings you to our small area if you did not come on a ship uh like i said me and my friend here are, are simply on an adventure and uh we know did you quite... reach us by land i'm sorry did you reach us by land of course uh you said yourself right. you've never known a, a gnome captain yeah, it, it's very rare for people to come over the land. Well, we are quite the rare pair, one might say. <laughs> the rare pair. <laughs> that rare pair. We are. Uh, we we take after ourselves, uh, Simon. You've been more than enough help. If there is anything I can do in town, perhaps any odd jobs or anything, let me know, and uh, <clears throat> I will see to it that it gets done. I think we're fairly happy here. It's a pleasant place. Fair enough. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just like, well, go on. <laughs> I'll say, by the way, Simon, um, before we leave, um, in case the map buying doesn't go well, what's the biggest town in this area? Vinderfell. Vinderfell. And definitely. How many miles away and in what direction? <sighs> well, you couldn't reach it by land. You definitely have to go by sea. Uh, uh, I was fearing you'd say that. Well, the seas here are fairly... I mean, in the fjords, we don't have very much problem with uh, storms. You know, there's not a lot of uh, currents that are dangerous. It, it, it's fairly safe travel by sea. No no krakens, no, <laughs> no gigantic no. octopods, not, not out here in the fjords. Uh, here, it's fairly fine. Out in the open sea, it gets to be a little bit more dangerous, but these are fairly safe areas. Okay. Thank you. I, I mean, we all make a living out from the ocean from the sea, from the fjords. It, we can't manage to make a living off ground. It, they're quite safe. I know some of you uh, dwarf-like dwarf -like folks are tend to be afraid of the water, but believe me, it's, it's quite safe. All right, I think we have more than you dwarf people. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Are you there? No. <laughs> no, <Nah, he's joking. laughs> just quoting a movie, kind of. Uh, at this point, I've I've walked off, so you're there by yourself, Largo. No, yeah, I took off after I asked those questions. Okay. Uh, I would I would say that we meet back up with uh, with Victorian and uh, go and and collect Jockery or at least go in that general area, and uh, I propose that we should steal a boat. When you go collect me, I'm like, oh, do you want to get some classes on bandaging as well? No, you no, feel I'm, free to join well, us. I do die a lot, so perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, that, that'd, be is an art. that'd be fine. Uh, I still... Look, if I were to say, let's steal a boat, what would you say? And I point at Victorian. Um, I would... Well... It's a, it seems like here in the fjords, the best way to travel is by boat. That is what uh, we were told. I don't know that we have money to buy a boat. And uh, of the greater evils between stealing a boat and not getting this woman and her child to safety, the, the greater evil is, of course, uh, the death of the child. So I'm for it. Jockery, how would this weigh on your conscience? I actually think we should just ask for passage on the boat. That's boring. <laughs> Do you know how to sail a boat? Because I have no idea how I would sail yeah, a boat. That is true. It's a pull true a problem. There. Strings and you put your finger up after you lick it and Pretty see sure where the it's more at. complicated. For some reason, I feel like in a previous life, I was a pirate. <laughs> and that it's not that easy. Okay. Well, that would it's be a future life. <laughs> it's probably be a future life. It's been, uh, it's been a day. Let's, uh, let's look into this tomorrow. Does that work Plot for everyone? Twist. Lily is Jackery's child. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. She's a halfling. No. No. I am disappointed. And Jockery is Rastafarian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, we should just take a break. Unless you guys yeah, have anything Yeah, this is actually a really good break point. All right. Okay. Anything else to do before this day is over or no? We'll just call it a day? No. Cool. We'll take a break and we'll come back and head into the second half of... Whatever week this is a roleplay song, because I can never fucking remember. We'll see you guys then. Thanks everyone for watching. Peace. Bye.